Welcome to the Ed Online video tutorial, Getting Started. In this video, I will give you a brief walkthrough of the features, tools, and functions of the latest Ed Online version 6.5. If this is your first time using the Ed Online page designer, I welcome you aboard the road to creating the best yearbook your school has ever had. So let's get started and see what's new. A new and improved people pages, a new and improved spell checker, mirror your pages, create custom and master templates, a new way to preview and bookmark templates, create a custom template using AutoGrid, use page comments to communicate with your staff, create a page in a snap with Page Builder, have a sneak peek of your book with the 3D cover preview, new updates to organize and manage photos, improved search options, and additional gallery items per popular request. When you log into your account, go to the menu option Design and click on Add Online Page Design. On the welcome page, you will see the following. Video tutorial, system updates, and a news feed. Be sure to review your welcome page as often as needed for any account or software updates. To your left, you will see a preview of your pages. The previews will change as you add content and save your changes. Let's click on a page to enter the designer. First, we will go over the tools and functions to utilize when creating your pages. At the top of your workstation, you will find the Save button. This is the most important thing to do when making changes on your pages. Save and save often. You can also save your page as a template. Next, there's the Copy and Paste tools. Undo and Redo. Paint Bucket tool to add fill colors to shapes and text boxes. Frame border tool to add size and color to the borders of your frames. Delete any unwanted content. Frame lock. Arrange buttons to change the visual order of your content. Align and distribution buttons to line up your content. Add a drop shadow to your content. Round the corners of your frames. Rotate your frames right and left. Wrap text around your frames. Limit Move Region, which is a safety measure for your text boxes and page content, and a Spell Checker. When navigating through your pages, we've made it easier with just the click of a button. At the top left, you will find right and left arrows, which allow you to advance through your pages or go back to previous pages. To see a full preview of all your pages, click on the View Pages button. To close, click the X and your ladder preview will collapse again. Next, you have your Insert Items. This is where you can access all of your media to build your pages. First, we have the Text tool, where you can access default text styles and create new ones. Insert Photo. This is where you can create new photo categories and upload your photos for use. Insert PDF to select and place your uploaded PDF files. Insert shapes. Add different shapes and photo boxes. Custom template. Create and access your custom templates that can be used as standard, master, or people pages. Insert clip art. Select and insert clip art from our categories and themes. Insert background. Like the clip art categories, we have a wide selection of backgrounds to choose from. Insert template. Based on general content you may find in a yearbook, you can choose from our many categories and add templates to your pages. 
you can also see a preview of how others have used the template. If you like what you see, then bookmark the template for later use. If you have certain events, such as videos or advertisements to include, you can create a QR code for access. Here is where you can access your ads that parents and businesses have purchased to be included in the yearbook. Use a series of photos of your choosing to build a page quickly in a snap using Page Builder. When using the Auto Grid, if you would like to create a template using a grid format, you can use this feature. This is ideal for those who want to create custom people page templates. Next, there's the View Preferences menu options. With these options, you can do the following. Preview how your page will look without the guides. Show rulers. Snap to objects. And also snap to objects using a grid format. Create page comments and add notes to communicate with your yearbook staff. The comments can be reviewed and updated by clicking on the page notes at the bottom left of your workstation. You can edit your background by clicking on the button to enter into the Edit Background mode. You can also control how you preview your page by clicking on the Zoom In and Out. The next set of tools you have are the cursor type to select and edit your frames and text boxes. In the Actions tools, you can use one of our newest features to quickly build a book using Book Builder. Create people pages, move pages, and recover any saved versions of your pages. In the Document menu, you can view detailed information of the activity of your pages, mirror your pages right or left, quickly clear and start your page over with the clear left or right page buttons. You can create and manage your page locks. For more advanced customizations, such as editing your photos, text, and frames, double-click to open and close the tabs on your right. You can also utilize our help library by clicking to open the pop-up menu or selecting an option from the drop-down menu. After you have saved your changes, you can exit from here. For a more in-depth look on using the different tools, features, and functions, visit our library of help videos and help pages. Thank you for watching.